just when it looked like prosecutors across Texas were effectively decriminalizing low-level pot possession, a prosecutor in our area says not so fast. Stems from a new law making industrial hemp legal in Texas. KXAN's Gary Cooper sat down with the Hayes County District Attorney to find out how he intends to maintain the status quo for cases in this new cannabis landscape. The legislature did not legalize marijuana. Maybe not, but when HB 1325 was signed, allowing hemp products to be sold in Texas, an unintended consequence followed. Testing to tell the difference in THC levels between those products and actual marijuana is expensive and time-consuming. So some district attorneys in Texas announced they will stop prosecuting low-level pot cases, but not Wes Mao, the DA in Hayes County. It's no real difference between prior to June 10th and after June 10th, with the exception of uh, substances with very low amounts of THC in them, which can't be possessed without proper documentation. Travis County prosecutors say they won't take cases from law enforcement without lab work attached, prioritizing higher level drug offenses, something defense attorneys support. One of the number one reasons uh, in Hayes County that people are arrested is for low level marijuana possession. When you put them into jail, they miss work, which means that they no longer have employment. They have a, you know, they have a charge on their record, which means that it's hard for them to get jobs. It directly affects the community each and every single time. But Mao says officers in Hayes County should keep on keeping on. Sure, if the police continue to make arrests or cite people for possession of marijuana. But as for how the county will pay for the test to weed out legal hemp possession from the lawful arrests, Mao is short on details. Then we'll continue to look at those cases and handle them as justice requires. In Hayes County, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. And just to be clear on the Texas state law, someone faces a Class B misdemeanor punishable by up to 180 days in jail and up to a fine of $2,000 if they are caught with two ounces of marijuana.